good afternoon from the parking lot of the wide world of sports here at Walt Disney World. As some of you may know, I have decided to take it upon myself to run the 10K during the marathon weekend. I am not a runner, so this is all gonna be new to me. I don't know what we're doing in here. We do have to go in and pick up my bib, but there's also like merch. I joined a virtual queue this morning. It was very similar to joining Tron's virtual queue. And then like, I don't know what else is in this building. This is, like I said, it's all brand new to me. I, I think it's going to be very similar to like the D23 shopping days. Okay. That's what I, I, I don't remember. I did the Star Wars 10K a few years back, probably like six or seven years ago. And I, so I don't quite remember, but I do remember it being very chaotic. Oh, okay. Yeah. We do have some friends that are already inside and they said that it was more chaotic at 10 and now it's about noon. So we've got, we got the crowds have slowed down. So that'll be nice. We're heading into the Advent Health Arena, I think. We're just gonna follow everybody. They do have some buses that have been heading from the resorts here. So you got some that came from the Contemporary Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge here. And that one's Disney's Art of Animation. All coming here to the Run Disney Expo. A minivan here out in front, like a probably Typhoon Lagoon thing or something. It's like a DJ Jeep up here. Ooh. Oh, clappers. oh yeah, clappers for like, for when you're cheering people oh, on. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna be able to cheer you on. I know. Water park tickets, 50% off for runners and their guests. Wow. It's just a water parks. What is this, a Pontiac? Wow, look at that. A Pontiac. What kind of car is it? Does it say? Is this a town and country? Might be a Pontiac town and country. Look at that wood vibes right there. I love that. It's a Woody, 54 Woody. So I'm going with a 54 Pontiac town and country. I'm gonna call it. DJ Jeep is all decked out and run Disney stuff. So I was looking over here at this arena. I was like, this is where we should go. And it says official merchandise right there. But I asked the cast member, they're like, no, no, you need to go follow these signs that away. Oh, okay. So the first thing we gotta do is take some photos here because they have all of the different things, like examples of the medals that you can take a picture in front of. They've got the 5K, the 10K, the half marathon, and the full marathon. Take a picture in front of it. All right, heading in, race shirt pickup and expo and race bib pickup this way. I gotta say, this is very exciting. Right, there's a lot of people. Energy. All right, we did it. We're going in to do the merch first in the big arena. And we just had to show them a QR code for that was popped up for our virtual queue. So it was pretty easy. We just did our virtual queue at 8.30 this morning. And then we just walked in now. And our, actually our time was called an hour ago. So we're gonna check in here and see if that works still. Should, hopefully it does. All right, walk the red carpet. You're here. It's me. I'm on the red carpet. They, they rolled out the red carpet for you. There's so many red carpets though. Yeah, which one do you choose? Where do I go? Oh, that's gonna be me. <laughs> right there. Oh yeah, look at him. There's Dopey. I'm not doing that. <laughs> but, oh. It's the perfect cheerleader. Oh yeah. That's gonna be, this is it. This we're Chip and Dale in the 10K. We're all in this together. And it says we're in it together. Me and Chip and Dale. We're all running together. That's gonna be me on race day. Oh gosh, the race is about to start. I get the feeling I'll be more perfect just because this is a long sentence that I, I've lost it. Okay, so we're inside the building and now we're heading into an area to like wait in another line just to get into the show floor, I guess. The merchandise floor. All right, we were in that room for about 20 minutes and now we're, they're gonna stop us right at us, right? They're gonna be like, Ugh, sorry, we're going in. All right, we're inside now. Oh, we can get shopping baskets. Wow, I don't, I don't know if that, character greetings, what? Merchandise everywhere. Oh, the 10K stuff. Let me just like have a peek over here and see. Oh yeah, there's Chip and Dale and Mickey and Minnie, but they're all like, look at Chip and Dale and their tucks and tails. Oh my goodness, is it? Oh yeah, look at that. Let's get in line for Chip and Dale. How's it going, Chip and Dale? You guys look so dapper. Now, are you guys gonna be running the 10K with me? Yeah? Is this what you're gonna wear? Oh yeah, it'll be like that. It'll be perfect. I can't wait to see that. I am a little bit nervous. I've never done a run like this before. Yeah, do you think I'll be okay? Okay. Oh, he's, uh, <laughs> Chip's like, I don't know. Dale's like, you got it. <laughs> is it okay if we take some photos together? To the right of Chip and Dale, there is a little photo op over here for 13.1. But look at this, you can see Donald going through it and Donald's like, I'm doing it. I can do it, I almost lost my hat. Oh my goodness gracious, this was too much for me to handle. But Daisy's like, look at me, strong. We're doing it. And I finished. 
with style. They've got 5K merch, they've got 10K merch, they got half marathon, they got full marathon. Of course, they have the Goofy, which is uh, you do the marathon and the half marathon. There's the Dopey, where you do all of them. So it does make me feel good about the 10K that they have children's sizes available in the shirts. But here's my 10K shirt for $44.99. Oof, pretty expensive. There's no, no jacket or anything like that. There's just a lot of, I did it. Oh, and then there's the back too, right there. It says 10K. Not a huge fan of it. It's like a tech shirt, right? Yeah, it's a tech shirt. So I could wear it during the race. And it says I did it, even though I haven't completed it yet. Here's a look at the 5K merch. It's got Pluto on it. Very similar back to it. I like this color a lot too. Oh, I like that the pins are like the metal. That's fun. See, this is kind of fun. It says running with the big dogs. It's like a 5K themed one, but it doesn't say 5K. Hello, Nick. Hi, how's it going? What was happening? Um, so like Jen just said, turned to me and Nick said- Nick was telling me a story and I'm like, you yeah, have to tell them well, this. This things is so- get, I mean, people get very passionate about their merch with Run Disney and I had my basket and there were people coming up to my basket and being like, is this yours? And I was like, yes. They were trying to You take, were holding it in your hand? Yes, yes. They were trying to steal his merch out of his basket. <laughs> Why would you like, be holding it if it wasn't yours? This is serious yeah, business. It's intense around here. Yeah. But you know what? I love the passion. I'm here for it. Wow. Okay. There's another 10K one here, but it doesn't say 10K on it. It just says run for the snacks and it's got Chip and Dale. It says run Disney on it. That one's kind of fun. It's a normal shirt, it's not a tech shirt. So this is kind of fun for the half marathon and the full marathon, they've got full zip jackets that you can get. Oh, well, it says 13.1 miles. Oh, and the tech shirt's a long sleeve shirt for the half marathon. Do they not have a short sleeve version? The magnet and the pins over here. Run until you're ruffled. What? Okay, they do have the I did it version here that is a short sleeve over here there's another one that says half marathon finisher and this one says i did it then they have a different color in this like heathered version here it's like a pinky red with both donald and daisy on it and then the back that same 13.1 oh, okay marathon weekend 2024 run disney at turvis for 35 dollars. i got a lot of turvises but i might walk out of here with this because I do like a Turvis tumbler. And then the full marathon, we have even more options. You've got a tank top over here. You've got a two-tone that says, I, I did it, and finisher. A regular t-shirt that says, I'm not, not mousing around. I like that one, that one's fun. There's like a kerfuffle going on over here around these jackets. They're just like the, the full marathon jackets over here with the same, same type of like marathon emblems on them and stuff like that. But like, I know they're like handing them out because there's so much going on, people are, scrambling for them. They've got some spear jerseys. This one says Run Disney and on the back it says Every Mile is Magic. You can get a, a tiny shoe Christmas ornament from Run Disney. Every Mile is Magic. And then there is a Tech Spear jersey. So this is like a, almost like a water shirt that says Run Disney Every Mile is Magic. And it's UPF 50. So I do know that these are oversized though because I have one from Disney Cruise Line. Oh, somebody's trying to hide a spear jersey back here I think. Oh, and like a zip up. All right, I got it figured out. This is a full full zip, says Run Disney on it. It's like a light jacket, every mile is magic. There's also a corksicle water bottle over here. Kind of has all of the, I don't know if you can see it, all of the different icons and park imagery around it, but it's embossed on it. Pretty cool looking. It was $54.99. So the dopey challenge is all for the 5K, the 10K, the half, and the full, totaling 48.6 miles. And so they've got some shirts and some pins and some magnets for this stuff as well. See, I do not want to run 48.6 miles, but I kind of want to run it to get this shirt. Running is no minor feat. And then the Goofy is the full and the half. So you can see he's got three medals. So you get one for the half, one for the full, and then one for doing the Goofy challenge. So that's kind of fun. This is pretty great right here. I love this shirt. Let's get limber. Let's go. Look at that. Marathon weekend for when you're running. It's like, uh, I kind of like this. It's like a water bottle holder for when you're running. And then you can like, what is this from? Who's it from? It's from Lug? Oh, it's Lug. It's a Lug. Oh. Oh yeah. And like a Lug purse. It's like a wallet. Get out of here. Oh, is that, is that for you to put on your belt? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's pretty nice. I am like a full out lug convert after we oh, got I love, that bag. I, I never was a fan of Loungefly. I only found one Loungefly that I liked and that was the one that I wear. Two now because we did buy that one from Fort Wilderness. It's like a full size oh, backpack. That wasn't, that's not a traditional Loungefly. Yeah. I just don't like the way they look. But this, I love the lug bags. Yeah. We They're might so end cool. up getting that. That's pretty nice. You think? How much is it? 
$60. 60 How much is this one? 45 That's not too bad. I do like that it has two pockets. So I have one very similar That's from That's like their Porksicle. thing. Well, I have one very similar from Porksville and it just has the pouch and then one other pouch. But this is nice because you have two separate. But is it $45 nice? I don't know. How many pouches are inside this pouch? That's the question. Because that's like Lug's thing is how many pockets they have. They like to put a lot of pockets in there. Uh, this one has kind of a lot. One, two, three, four. Five. This one has a total of five pockets. Yeah, that's kind of good. They've got some coast to coast stuff. Because there's a coast to coast race challenge where you do both Disney and Disneyland. Disney World and Disneyland. And then this is the Lug Bag, the bigger version of the one that we have that we offer free at Destination D23. So if you run... After doing this two, two courses, one is running the half marathon here and then going to California, okay. or if you run the California one and then come back and do Princess or Springtime. Oh, okay. Actually, not Springtime, just Princess, and then half or Springtime. Gotcha. Yeah. And they've got some pass holder merch too over here. Event alert system current status is low. Enjoy the event, but be alert. I like the good conditions. Potentially dangerous conditions. This is exciting. I feel like so many people are doing the dopey. Look at this line of people standing in line to get a photo in front of the 48.6 sign. All right, we're heading to go get our bib now, heading deeper and deeper into the wide world of sports. Ah, electric vehicles. Chevy Equinox, electric. All right, so we're going over here to the field house to do our race bib pickup. Oh, like an orange bird down here. What are these things? Oh, the photographers are going to be inside these little, like, huts. It's kind of fun. This is where we got to go down here to pick up our 10K bib. Oh, look, the dopey challenge. Everybody's taking their photos, not picking up their bibs. Race bib pickup. So we just ran over here. And I'm already running. Look <laughs> just at me. joking. <laughs> so we're here to get your bib. You're just joking. <laughs> I'm going to tell Jackson that you had to get a bib today. And he's oh, going to be so confused. <laughs> I had to wear a bib. <laughs> That's pretty funny. But we're here in line for the 10K. They have uh, bib lines for each race. Not for, for each different... Uh, well, for like, each race and then for each like little category of... Section of bib number. Yeah. Your registration number, right? Yeah. yeah. Then we got to figure out what corral you're in. All right. Who knows? Yeah. So we're here. We're doing it. We're doing it. They got some photo ops over here, some step and repeats for you to take photos in front of. And then we've got, this is the photo pass, so you know, you're like, I don't know, sign up for a photo pass, and you know what they're in. They're in these little tents, so they can see you and say, oh, I gotta see that green tent, you gotta pose for a photo. All right, now we are in a line to go all the way down there to get in and get our t-shirts. Yeah, it's moving pretty good. I think they're just like handing things out, right? We're doing it. We're making our way in. Moving pretty quick. Here at Wide World of Sports, there is a seasonal beverage from Joffrey's, the Game Changer. Irish brew coffee with a shot of espresso, Irish cream syrup, and light cream. Oh, right, so we made it into this building. It was pretty quick. Now we have to go get our race shirt and gear pickup, but there's some other little booths around here for you to take photos with or to, like, say you want to buy some shocks, open ear headphones, stuff like that. The different sponsors. So this is more like an expo right here. And it tells you who all the exhibitors are. You get shoes, uh, Disney Vacation Club, Run to Fit, Sportswears, things like that. Honey Stinger. So yeah, a lot of different things that you could do in this building. Performance visors. Look at these, everybody's in here with like these compression massaging things on. You got some like glasses going on here. So basically you find the race that you're doing and then you Go and you find your size and you get in line there. So let's head over to 10K. And then because the shirt size was pre-ordered, you try it on and then if it doesn't fit, you can go to the shirt exchange, get a different size. There's a lot of like runner-centric stuff that you could get and experience and test out and buy. Well, there's like a hair salon where you can get like fancy hair things. Like they'll, they'll curl your hair. It looks like they'll change the color. They'll put extensions in. Oh echelon uh treadmills and like bikes or stuff over here it's exciting fun stuff they have a display of all of the different maps for the different races this is what we're doing we're doing a 10k we start in the epcot parking lot we go out up the ramp around and then back into epcot around the resorts out there and then back through epcot to the parking lot again so it won't be so bad right Okay, so there's only three water stops. I thought there was a water stop each mile. So that's fine. We'll run like two miles, a mile, and 
almost two miles. You know, a little bit past two miles. I think we can do that. That was my plan. Oh, and here's the profile for like the elevation change. So here's a look at the medals. You got the 5K, the 10K, the half marathon, the full marathon, the goofy, and then the dopey. Right there. All right, I think we have completed and gotten everything that we need for the race. Got my bib, got my shirt. We saw the merch, bought one, two things, and Did you yeah. show them? Did I show what we got? We got this lug bag. It's like specific for Run Disney. And then I got a Tervis tumbler. So as you guys know, I love Tervis tumblers. Um, but yeah, we also got 20% off because we're annual pass holders, oh, which was very nice. Yeah, off the lug bag as well. That's like this 30 bucks. Yeah, so like that was a original price for this bag was 144. And we paid what? 115, even yeah. better. So, great, great deal. Uh, yeah, it was a good time. Like, I enjoyed this. There was a lot going on. And it did, it was kind of like hectic because you like go to the merch, then you go to pick up your bib, the then you go level. and you pick up the shirts. But the, yeah. The excitement level was here. Yeah. And the walking distance is like warming up your legs for the races. <laughs> you gotta walk all over the place out I'm here. I'm not even racing, and I'm like, I'm ready. Yeah. All right, we are all done with the expo. Now comes the time where like I, I have to run now. So this will be in tomorrow's video in the race, actual like race day video. Yeah. But you just packed up your stuff. We packed it in our new lug bag. How was that? It was nice. Yeah. Because it has like a special spot for my shoes. Mm -hmm. So like they're not going to stink up the rest of my clothes. <laughs> my stinky old run shoes. Yeah. But and yeah. then, yeah, you're going to camp tonight. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll show you guys all that stuff in tomorrow's video. Mm -hmm. But I do. I have the beds in the car. Like it's good to go. So good luck. Thank you. You got this? Yeah. I do wish we could have spent more time at the expo, mm -hmm. but it was like so hectic out there and like wild. It was definitely, if you're gonna go to the expo, like be prepared for the crowds, be prepared to go from building to building to building. Everything is not in one place. So right. you do have to go here for one thing, here for another thing. But I think that's part of the adventure. Right. Well, part the, of the fun. The other good news is that it doesn't just run yesterday. It's like it's still running today. It's running yeah. tomorrow. So like this, that wasn't, you don't just have one day to do it. You have time. Yeah. You can even go after your race. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I feel like things might be. Well, you be... need the bib first. But like... Right. But the <laughs> other, the shopping stuff might be picked over because people were like grabbing a lot of stuff. Yeah, they were. So just kind of think that part through if you're looking to buy merch, maybe try to go sooner for the merch. Yeah. But. What I would do is I would go for the merch and the bib and then I would come back for the actual expo to like see the vendors and stuff oh, like that. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good so, point. Unless you're trying to find something specific for a costume because they did have like various costume-esque running supplies. Oh, So that's cool, yeah. Oh, I'm excited for a new adventure. Wish me luck. <laughs> So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay the price. price.